Hey guys, tonight for dinner, me and Tammy are gonna be trying these new Gordon seafood appetizers. Uh, one of them is the Thai coconut shrimp, and another one is the garlic herb and cheese, uh, garlic and herb cheese stuffed shrimp. So these were $5.99 at Kroger for, for the, the two stuffed shrimp. And then we're also gonna try out these veggie tots. These are broccoli and cheese by the Green Giant. These were $3.79 for the whole bag, so you get quite a few. And what the deal is, they're supposed to be like a, um, a different version of like um, tater tots, you know, so a healthier version of tater tots. So we'll see, they look really good. Me and Tammy both like uh, broccoli casseroles, so we're thinking broccoli and cheese, you know, may not be too bad. So let me tell you about these real quick first. They are, uh, it says move over potatoes. These are, there's a new tot in town. Our green giant veggie tot swap potatoes with vegetables like cauliflower and broccoli. Heat them up and enjoy them as a side dish. Um, snack or party appetizer. So basically what you do, these are um, six pieces or 130 calories. These go in the oven for four tw at 425 for um, 12 to 14 minutes. So you're about 13 minutes uh, average. And then these are a little different. The Thai coconut shrimp, these are tail on shrimp. So they have tails on them. So I, we don't eat the tails usually. Um, covered in a crispy potato breadcrumb. Panko. Panko. Sorry, what did I say? Potato? Yeah. Panko breadcrumb blended with toasted coconut and mild yellow curry, which those could be good. And garlic and herb cheese stuffed shrimp or tender tail on shrimp stuffed with garlic and herb Monterey Jack cheese and covered in Italian breadcrumbs. So that's really good too. So remember they have tails. Some people eat the tails. I never have. I've always pulled them off. Some people eat them. I don't know. Um, the... Uh, the coconut one is 250 calories for five, five shrimp or 250. And the garlic and cheese ones are four shrimp for 260. So these are a little bit more calories um, each for the, um, for the, the cheese ones, which makes sense. Um, the difference in, is these are uh, baked differently. So these are both, I mean, uh, the, the coconut one you bake for at 425, the cheese ones you bake at 450, you put them both on a metal pan, you bake for basically 15 minutes for the uh, Thai coconut one, you bake for 12 minutes for the cheese ones. What we're doing is we're, break, we're making our oven go to 430, so a little bit higher than the, than the low, but not as high as the 450, and we're gonna bake these longer, so that's what we're gonna go for. So since they're different bake times, we're gonna do uh, both the shrimps for two minutes then once the two minutes is up we're going to add our veggie tots because they don't they take the least amount of time bake them another seven minutes turn them all over and then bake them another six minutes and they should be done so let's see what these look like so these are the um coconut the thai coconut shrimp if i can grab the little pool thing and i don't think these are in a bag they don't sound like they're in a, they're in a bag i'm surprised They didn't sound like they were in a bag when I was kind of moving things around. Those are some pretty good sized shrimp. Let me show you what they look like out of the container or out of the bag. Well, those are pretty good size. And the tails, you can tell they have tails on them. So that's good. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna make those or all or not. So anyway, let me show you the, um, the cheese ones. And these are also in a bag. And these look a little bigger. I guess because of the cheese and stuff on them. Um, it actually didn't say to flip these over, so I may not actually flip the cheese ones over. You don't get as many either. Um, there's only two more. I'm going to go ahead and bake them. Why not, right? And then let me show you what the tots look like, um, even though I'm not putting them in right now. I'll show you what they look like. You can smell the garlic from, those, uh, from the garlic ones. It smells really good. Okay, and here's what the, ooh, the green. <laughs> They're definitely hunks of broccoli with uh, breading and some cheese. They smell 
like a broccoli casserole. They really do. So I'm going to get these in the oven. Um, when they come out and we're ready to try them, I'll let you see what they look like. I think we should try the broccoli things first. Oh, do you? Just because if they get cold, it may taste a lot Okay, worse. okay. I'm going to cut it in half. They're not as crispy as I would have liked for them to be. You probably put them in the oven a little bit longer, but we actually baked these longer than they needed and a, a little bit higher temperature. So yeah. this is just what you get. Uh, yeah, they, they are what they are. I don't think those are bad. Mm -mm. I was expecting not to like those. Yeah. But, I, but they're not bad. I really like uh, broccoli casserole. Mm -hmm. Of course, my favorite part of the broccoli casserole is the Velveeta and, and the crackers. Ritz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I could just have Velveeta and Ritz cracker casserole. But you know, those aren't bad at all though. Mm -mm. If you don't, if you like broccoli and mm -hmm. you like a little bit of cheese, now it's mostly broccoli. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a cheese flavor there too. And you do get, you get like a chewy coating on the outside. It's really not crispy. No, it's, it's chewy. It's more of a chewy, like a, like a skin on a sausage kind of chewy. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a tough skin it's on the outside. It's tough. So, but it's not bad. I don't, I don't mind that at all. So I know a lot of people were wondering about those. They're actually really good. If, if you, you like, like broccoli. If you like broccoli and cheese. Yeah. You have to like broccoli though, because that's the main ingredient. Right, now are they gonna replace tater top? No way. <laughs> no, you're not gonna be able to replace tater tots no. with them, but they're really good. Yeah, yeah, I would eat those. Okay, you wanna try the Thai coconut shrimp? Or do you wanna shrimp? try the stuffed ones? Well, I don't care, which do you want? Let's try just the regular coconut, the shrimp. Okay, the these are the Thai mm. coconut shrimp. With the panko grill. Mm-hmm. And yellow curry. I don't care for the curry. That's the strongest flavor, is I, the curry. I do not like the curry. And I don't mind it. You don't mind it? Mm. Yeah. I've had curry deals, yeah, meals before mm -hmm. for my lunchtime review. Mm -hmm. And at first I didn't like it, but yeah. I've gotten to where it's not bad. Now, if you're in London and England and all that area, they love curry. Oh, they love curry. Yeah, and I just avoid those meals because I just don't care <laughs> for it. If I ate it all the time, I guess I would get used to it. But I think it's good that I don't like curry because I eat enough foods that are bad for me anyway. And those curry meals are so high in calories mm. that it's actually good that I don't care for curry. I actually like those quite a bit. Um, you don't like them at all? Not at all. No. Mm, what's interesting? Okay. These are the garlic uh, and herb. They have the Italian breadcrumbs, which I love Italian breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna, are you gonna just pick it up? And they're they're not cutting these up. are stuffed. The other ones weren't stuffed. They were just breaded. Mm, now that's for me. Um, they've got a good garlic flavor. I love the uh, the mozzarella cheese, yeah. the breadcrumbs. Well, it's Monterey Jack cheese. Sorry, Monterey Jack. Yeah, it does. It is similar to the texture is similar to Monterey. Mm -hmm. That's really good, and those would be um, good dipped in a cocktail sauce as well. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to have the cocktail sauce. You don't need any sauce at all. Mm. Tons of garlic flavor. But they would be really good in cocktail sauce as well because I love any kind of bread sauce with Italian mm. dishes. I love that. Those I are like, delicious. I like all three of them. The broccoli ones, I wouldn't actually buy them again. They're not bad to eat, but I wouldn't actually go buy them again, purchase them. Mm -hmm. um, but either one of those shrimp, I would eat either one of those shrimp anytime. And for me, it's going to be the garlic and herb. Is yeah. the only one you would actually buy? Yeah, again? I wouldn't buy that curry one at all. Yeah, see, I don't like the curry. No, I just, I'm just not a curry person. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if I ate it all the time, you of course to you're going to get used to it. But right now, I'm just not you. I'm not yeah. used to that flavor at I'll all. Enjoy. I don't have anything with that. Kevin has a lot of meals on his Lunchtime Review channel that have that in there. So he's used to eating things like that. And I think you, uh, he's even had things sent to him uh, mm -hmm. that have curry in them. And I'm just not used to it at all. So that's that's all it boils down mm -hmm. to. I like it. Uh, but I really love uh, the garlic and herbs stuffed shrimp. And I like the broccoli and cheese. I wouldn't buy them again because we don't eat a lot of uh, things that have to be baked anyway. But they're definitely really good. And if you like broccoli and cheese, I would give them a try. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I'm going to have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.